We met this interesting couple, Jamie and Darby. He's a young documentarian, and she makes ice cream. I was excited to work with Noah again, but reading it, realizing, oh, I'm the old guy in the script. I really loved working with this cast. It was great in both the cases of Ben and Adam to work with people I had already worked with and had a shorthand already. Naomi makes me want to use words that I don't normally use, like delightful. And Amanda, I just love you know, working with her. And Groden, I mean, he's so funny. I'm not gonna eat another fried turkey, FYI. And bring your own! I'd had an idea of writing about two different couples, this idea of all these different energies that are going on. Beautiful class. I'm Jamie, this is my wife, Darby. I'm a fan. You wanna come get a bite with us? Josh is a guy who's wanted to be successful and isn't, and I think it's surprising to him that he is the old guy. Why do you suddenly wanna hang out with a couple of 25-year-olds? We were just 25. I mean, we weren't, but you know. Cornelia is truthful and honest and kind, and I love the relationship that is there between her and Josh. They've reached sort of like a, a place in their relationship where there's too much complacency and... What is that, a 75 watt? I can't see, it's too bright. Jamie comes into their lives and he appeals, I think, to the sense that Josh wants to be with a younger group of people, and I think Jamie is aware of that. What's the rumpus, Red Mix? You came! <laughs> There's a sky's the limit thing about them. They're smart, they're beautiful, they're go-getters. They're constantly creating something. I need to buy a new desk. You should come with me to the lumber yard. We'll make one. When people are around Jamie, they feel like they can kind of take the world by storm. There's something about being around them that energizes you. Noah has great taste. He's cast these roles very well and all the other little parts as well. We're worried about you guys. What's with the hat? What? You're an old man with a hat. There's something idiosyncratic and then at the same time entirely recognizable. That's what's beautiful about this piece of writing and how this other couple turns them upside down and then they find their way.